Hello guys, welcome back to Tax Riders. In previous video, we had a look at the principles of symbolic computing in Python. And in this one, we want to use those techniques to solve an ordinary differential equation. So let's go for it. Okay, so this is an extra uh, notebook here. Uh, that is already that was originally a part of uh, tissue engineering uh, a tissue engineering course mass transfer in tissue engineering and this is actually an example out of the course uh, in which we want to solve uh, an equation describing the mass transfer inside a cellular construct so you can assume that these are all cells inside a hydrogel inside an, an environment that provides some nutrients to them we have a constant uh, concentration here of oxygen, let's say, or any other thing. And we want to see how much this can penetrate inside this construction, inside this construct, inside this hydrogel, let's say, environment. And by doing that, we can see that, okay, for example, till this point, till, for example, this location, the, the cells will survive. But after that behind it the cells will die so this is actually the application of this uh, this kind of formulation and this is a one-dimensional one so yeah we can easily construct um, an ordinary differential equation describing what is actually happening there and then uh, we can solve it using the, the initial conditions that we have here so we know that here when x this is the, the, along the x-axis, so diffusion along the x-axis. And when x is 0, the concentration is equal, equals C0. And when it is D, which is actually the, 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 the location, the region, that we know that it is you know, the, the maximum penetration, the maximum diffusion, let's say, uh, location, we know that there is no diffusion anymore. So the concentration of C, the change of concentration of C along the x-axis will be zero. So this is the second boundary condition. And we have two, so we have two boundary conditions and we want to solve this, uh, you know, this uh, system with it. And instead of mass transfer, you can assume that this is, you know, another transport phenomena uh, system like uh, heat transfer that this is actually the temperature and you want to see the diffusion of temperature inside this using conduction in this case and then yeah you want to see the maximum diffusion so this is the world that you can describe the system and uh, mathematically speaking the, the, the equation that we want to solve is uh, diffusion reaction uh, system because we want to also see the consumption of oxygen via uh, using that uh, you know via the cells because the cells will consume the oxygen so the oxygen starts to diffuse and the cells will start to use it to consume it to survive so we have an additional term here called the reaction term we will discuss this in the future you know in details we will elaborate these things but this is just an example to show you how you use symbolic computing to solve this system. And then you say that the change of concentration of oxygen along the x-axis in time can be described using this, you know, the diff famous diffusion term minus the term that, minus the rate in which the oxygen is consumed by the cells. So this is actually the amount of cells, you know, this is the density of cells why, and the rate uh, uh, that they consume it. So in order to make it even more, uh, even simpler, we can say that, okay, this is a steady state uh, uh, condition. So we assume that there is no transient term here. So we eliminate this term. And this is actually the equation that we want to solve. If you want to solve it by hand, then uh, uh, these are the process. This is the procedure that we need to take that we, you know, this is just a simplification of notation. So we say that, okay, this is a simplification and then we, we move the diffusion coefficient here, d here. And then we integrate both sides. And by integration, we reach, I, I hope that you can see, let me resume it a bit, yeah. So by uh, performing the integration, then we reduce the order of the, the, the differentiation term, the derivative, and it becomes like this. And this is actually the coefficient of uh, the, 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 the integration constant, the integral constant. 
we we say that it is c1 but for c1 we if we can assume that we have uh, for example the way that if there is a way that we can eliminate this term then we can calculate the value of c1 and this is actually due to the, the second boundary condition that we know that when x is equals d the maximum diffusion depths then the the, the, uh, the derivative this this partial derivative is zero and this is actually it's not a partial derivative here because we assume that it is only along the x-axis so when we say that it okay, x is d then c, uh, the derivative of c to the x is actually zero and we can calculate c1 and then we again different integrate the equation the equation that we had here and we we derive this and the, 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 this term for c with concentration and two integral constant we haven't substituted this yet and we know that for c when c is zero you can see here when c is zero c equals c zero so we substitute this inside this equation and by doing that, we can easily el eliminate these terms and we uh, yield that, okay, C2 equals C0. And we, when we combine this all together, we, have, we can have the final form of the equation for C. So this is actually the, the diffusion or concentration profile along the x-axis inside the cellular construct. And then we can easily calculate the maximum diffusion because we can say when x equals d max, then c is zero. This is actually the second boundary condition, but we don't want to go for the derivative anymore. When x equals d, then we know that uh, then uh, the cx is zero. We don't have any diffusion anymore. So we can easily substitute that into the equation and we can derive the maximum diffusion depth. So this is actually the way that we can solve this by hand, but let's solve the same, you know, same principle. Let's follow the same principle in SymPy. This is, you know, it's kind of symbolic computing, symbolic operations and the symbolic math. So that's a good candidate to be solved with, uh, with SymPy. This is what I told you that you can use init session. And when you init the session, then uh, uh, it becomes uh, ready to further, you know, further computation. And we define the symbols and they are positive. We know that all these things are positive. Diffusion rate is positive. X is positive. It starts from zero. And then the V and rho, rho is the density of cells are also positive. And then we define that C is a function. And the ODE, the differential equation, is actually this. The second order different uh, derivative of x in for c and multiply times by d and uh, minus v rho. So you can see that this is actually this one. And when we ask SymPy to solve it simply using d solve, you can see that the, it quickly solves it and derives the final form that we had here. This is actually this one, or let's say this one, because it has some constants. You can see C1 and C2, and here it's also C1 and C2, in the integral constant, the integration constants. And then uh, the next step would be how to define the, how to derive the value of this C1 and C2. This is the, the, you know, the, the, the operation that this block does, so you can see that we define C0 and D as the symbols. And then we say that, okay, in the differential equation, this is actually the, the, the boundary conditions. Here it's called initial, uh, uh, initial conditions, but that's actually the uh, boundary condition. So when C is zero, it is C0. And when Cx dif differentiated by X, which is actually DC by DX, uh, substitute x by d, it is zero. So this is actually the second uh, boundary condition that is actually here. And then we, you know, this is for to, for getting uh, for obtaining the parameters. Then with free symbols, say that okay, just tell us all the symbols that you have in the equation, and then we we remove, we just ignore. These, the symbols that we know the value of and or we don't want to solve it for like x and then you can see that this is actually the way that we can apply the boundary conditions 
we say that okay this is the, uh, the the right hand side and left hand side so it is actually just bringing them to one side that's what it does and then substitute x and then substitute by the value of this dictionary you know what a dictionary is we discussed it in the python video and then a substitute the second different the second boundary condition also here when x is equals d and that it, it, it should be differentiated and then this is actually the this uh, the system of equations that we want to solve with this we discussed it in a previous video so when we this, when we solve this actually this solve this, this system of equations using solve because this is not uh, an a differential equation anymore this is actually a system of equations simple as, as you know as, as simple as that we have c1 and c2 and then when we solve it it derives this these are actually the values that we had already uh, defined we, we had already calculated and when we substitute that into the final form of the ODE solution ODE sol is actually the solution of the ODE this is actually when we derive these equations when we replace them inside the ODE solution then we have the final form of the of a differential equation solution so this is the way that we can solve the differential equation and then we can go for solving that for you know substitute that okay the final form that we we want to see how what is the maximum diffusion depth and this is positive of course and we substitute that into the equation so two times when d is d max it is the same as x is d max so we will have this form of the equation and if we solve it with solve function then we have the maximum depth of diffusion which is actually exactly the same as the value that we have derived uh, by hand so uh yeah this is actually how it works and uh, I think you also find it quite simple make sure to follow this and then uh, you will see that okay this is actually really easy and then you can use this technique to solve any other differential equation uh, using symbolic computing but for partial differential equations it would be more complex this is actually what we will discuss in the you know second section and the third section of this uh, video series but for ordinary differential equations you can easily use SymPy to, to perform all the calculations and then you don't need to solve them by hand. I hope you enjoy it and yeah see you in next videos. Bye!